Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is an ironic digital watering hole attack. Before I start, if you haven't heard the term digital watering hole attack, it's when bad guys actually hijack a legitimate website in order to redirect that website's victims to a malicious drive-by download site. Anyways, back in 2011, a popular publication, The Guardian, posted an article titled Cybercrime, Is It Getting Out of Control? Well, the answer to that question is a resounding yes, because that particular article has been the victim of a digital watering hole attack. According to research from FireEye, that particular article has been infected by a syndicated article that actually is redirecting bad guys to malware. If you take a look at their blog post, they have a lot of technical details on how this particular syndicated site actually redirects victims that go to this particular Guardian article to what's known as the Angler Exploit Kit. And of course, this is one of those exploit kits sold on the underground. It's designed to actually figure out what browser you're using and launch the proper attack for your particular browser and platform. And according to FireEye's research, this particular attack either relies on one of the older Word OLE flaws or also some flash vulnerabilities as well. What it sends you depends on what browser and what platform you're using. Now, by the way, as is usually the case, these are all patched vulnerabilities. So if you keep your Microsoft and your Adobe products up to date, this sort of drive-by download may not affect you. In any case, it's really, really ironic that these bad guys were able to get their malicious web code on this article that's asking, is cybercrime getting out of control? And it's a very good example of how bad guys are using malicious advertising or other techniques to hijack legitimate websites and force people to drive-by downloads. So if you followed my vlogs for any amount of time, you've probably heard my number one drive-by download advice. There's a lot of things you should do, such as have antivirus and intrusion prevention software running on, say, your WatchGuard Firebox or even on your actual computer, and those can sometimes block these attacks or the malware they deliver. But one of my more pro tips is the idea of using some sort of active script blocker. There's plugins for Firefox called NoScript, there's something in Chrome called Click to Play, and in either case, these plugins or extensions will actually prevent any sort of active script like JavaScript or VB script languages from running on a website by default. And a lot of attacks, like these attacks forwarding people to the Angular exploit kit, rely on those scripting languages to work. Now, of course, there is a caveat here. A lot of legitimate websites use VBScript or JavaScript. So you have to actually work with these tools and tune them to pick which sites you trust and which sites you don't trust. Nonetheless, it's something I usually do to just avoid active scripting from running by default. In any case, it was just interesting to see The Guardian, which of course is known for helping post the initial Snowden releases, actually succumbing to one of these drive-by download attacks in an article that's talking about cybercrime. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.